Gruesome Magazine. Hello again, I am Doc Rotten, and this is Gruesome Magazine, where we review the very latest in streaming and video on the man horror movies. Each week, my co-host Jeff Moore, Crystal Cleveland, Dave Dreyer, and I will take a look at various spooky, scary, and gory genre offerings. Tonight, we're reviewing Get Duped, which is playing on Amazon Prime. Uh, we're bringing a little comedy into our genre, so that's always a plus. Let's find out how well it actually does. Uh, but before we get into our review, I got to introduce the rest of the crew, and I'm going to start off with Jeff Moore. Jeff, how you doing? Uh, I'm... I'm doing great, but you know, I've never seen a murder before because I'm homeschooled. Yes. And, and that does prevent that. Um, unless yeah. you yeah. are the one, unless it's uh, you know, a home murder. Unless mom but, and dad have a hobby. I don't know. And they might, they might, I, th this isn't playing well. Uh, let's introduce Crystal. <laughs> Crystal <laughs> Cleveland, the living dead girl. How you doing? Good. Uh, that, that line is only interested if you've watched the movie. Jeff's not making fun of homeschoolers. Homeschoolers are wonderful uh, children. So yeah, well, not. well, it, you know, as we're, as, as we're recording, you're not weird at all. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe I you. I was going to go with that. You're, you're, pull, you're yeah. pulling my leg. You're pulling my leg, Russell. But you know, okay. I just want to say, this day and age, who isn't homeschooled at this moment? So. Oh, yep. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Last but last but not least is my butt over from H and R. Dave Dreher. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, waving is a wonderful thing, but not on a podcast. Uh, it just doesn't really work. But I do appreciate the hello. I'm not talking to you because you keep making me watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you're absolutely yeah. right. I do. And this, this is some shit you got to watch. And in this shit, we're we're a particular type of shit. We're talking rabbit shit. Oh, no, we are. Um, oh, see? see, and Crystal is all about it. Uh, we'll Look find at out that why. Poor little rabbit. How rabbit. embarrassed he is. Yeah. He, that his poopy so is being abused. Save the rabbit poop. Yes. And um, of course... <laughs> If you haven't seen this movie, you have no idea what we're talking about, but that's okay because that's where you're here. You're here to hear about our review of Get Duke. Um, so what is Get Duke? Well, let's find out. Get Duke is, uh, it started August 28, 2020 on Amazon Prime. It is uh, written and directed by Nini and Dolph. It stars Samuel Bottomley, uh, Viraj uh, Jun Junja, I'm sorry, I screwed that up, Ryan Gordon, uh, Lewis, Ribbon, Jonathan Ayres, Eddie Izzard, whoa, Kate Dickey, and James Cosmo. Uh, synopsis is an anarchic, an anarchic, yes, I feel like I'm messing that up. Hip hop inspired comedy slash, yeah, just to leave it as comedy that follows four <laughs> city boys on a wilderness trek as they try to escape a mysterious huntsman. Now, why are we talking about something that's described as a straight up comedy? It's because there are horror-ish elements um, in a uh, yeah. out in the English mire. No, Scottish. You know, Scottish. Scottish. Scottish Islands. Scottish, Scottish <laughs> Islands. Yes, Scottish Islands. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, there's some blood. There's some murder. Yeah. And as Jeff, as Jeff thinks, so there, there's reasons why. But uh, so we're going to get into this. But uh, what we do, uh, if you're new here, as we uh, give our first impressions, we're getting ready to do that now. Then we talk about the film for a little bit, and then we'll wrap up giving our final thoughts, our score, and our favorite scene. And you want to stick around for that because that's when it gets really good. Uh, but until then, we're going to have a, you know, we're just going to chat about this movie for the next 10, 15 minutes. Uh, first up, though, our first impressions. And uh, Jeff Moore, you're up first. What is your first impression of Get Do? Well, I don't know if I'm going to be out here on a limb all by myself, but I like this. Uh, it, <laughs> took me a while, it took me a while to get used to the, uh, you know, these kids are not likable. They're, they're <laughs> little terrors on the loose, basically. Little but I, I had, <laughs> I, I had a, a, and uh, the, the, there was the one kid who was serious about it. Um, <laughs> and Dean and I guess all three of those original guys are just incredibly dumb. They have no common sense whatsoever. But but I found that to be funny, I guess. It was almost like watching uh, Teenage uh, Three Stooges or uh, um, 
Laurel and Hardy or something or Abbott Costello, maybe yeah. uh, they, I thought they fit well together. They made a nice little crew, right? Little crew, mm -hmm. uh, drugs and hip hop to the highlands. So I don't, I don't know what else to say about it other than, you know, the, the, the dialect, the accent is hard to follow. So I definitely had to do, uh, subtitles and even then they were talking too fast. So it was, it was kind of hard to keep up with some of the time and, and follow the action. Uh, and Dave, I actually watched this twice and I Whoa. enjoyed it. I enjoyed it <laughs> both times. <laughs> uh, there ain't much to do there in Iowa. I understand. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, there isn't. There isn't much to do besides, you know, bitch about the governor and uh, watch a movie. <laughs> watch, your, watch your neighbors go off to the hospital with their coronavirus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stop, stop, stop. So, um, so anyway, they, uh, I I don't know. I liked it. I liked it. I thought Duncan was hilarious. Him and his, his, uh, his, uh, my fork, it's well sharp, you know. Oh, I, could, I thought, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I don't know. And and, and <clears throat> DJ Beetroot, who is Beetroot, Beetroot, he's awesome. He's the so time funny. he decides he's got a bad rapper name, and the and the farmers. I, I just liked how everything fit together, and I liked how stuff came around. You know, the van comes around a couple times. It's uh, and so does the uh, the rabbit shite. Uh, as, as they say, remember um, to only take one. Yes, yes. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> after the fact, so I I don't know. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I liked the special effects for the uh, hallucinogenic scenes too. I thought that was. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, can we really call those special effects though? I yes, mean... yes, we can. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, Jeff. I just want to say that um, you know you were mentioning some. Uh, uh, you know, it felt like this, felt like that. The, the, the kids, if anybody out there has seen uh, the young ones from the 80s, uh, it was, it's, I'm saying it felt very much like the young ones. Dave, I don't know if you ever watched the young ones, but I don't think so. Uh, so if I, did, if I did, I've erased it from my memory. Uh, well, it might, you know, it comes with the territory with the young ones, but I <laughs> love that show. And this, it, these, these four felt very much like the young ones. I, we're going it to, it was almost them. like, we're going to have to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, go I'm ahead. My breath until you let me talk. <laughs> it, was, it was almost like what, sir? It, it, was almost, it was almost like a type of slapstick. Only, you know, there was some, oh, wait, what? Oh, there was some physical slapstick, but there was also <clears throat> verbal slapstick. This, the, the, they were just so ridiculous that I, found, yeah. I find that funny. The young ones. I was laughing. The young laughing. ones. I'm telling you right now, the young ones. All right, Crystal Cleveland, you're up next. What is your first impression of? I say get, you say <laughs> Duke. Thank you. It's Duke, technically, not duped, but yeah. But they okay, so absolutely this movie is not meant to be taken seriously in any way, shape, or form. It is absolutely over the top. The cops are fools, the kids are fools, everyone is pretty much a fool, and they're just bumbling around. That's that's what this movie is. Just a just bumbling fools bumping into one another and who gets got first, basically. Who gets got first. Yeah, I mean it's funny. And at one point it becomes a musical. It's a straight up musical. And I abs that's that's the moment where I really started really enjoying it. I thought the musical part was hilarious. I like DJ Beat Root. He's awesome, and I fully support his rap career. I think it was funny. <clears throat> I think the rabbit poop was kind of a funny little weird thing to put in mm -hmm. there. The movie's just strange, but it's not so str I've seen much weirder. The cops were a really funny element to me because two of them are just dying to be more than these small town little Highland cops because nothing happens in the Highlands. And so they always want to go after more, but really what their main goal is, is to catch a bread thief. A bread thief. Yeah. And when they talk <laughs> about the breads, I'm just, she's like, and I think I see a little brioche in there. I, I was dead. I was, I just could not handle that when they were in the van. So <clears throat> I've been had a kebab for funny. two weeks. 
he had they had to butter a dog biscuit or something it's ridiculous yeah so dumb. and and it was cute oh, um, that's right he had to put jam on his dog biscuit yeah yeah so <laughs> i really liked it i mean it's um it's not gonna be for for all the horror fans out there it's silly there's not that much gore it's not that much horror, but I mean, I could, st I could still see, it's definitely got some horror elements. It's really a comedy, but it's a cool movie and I had fun. I enjoyed it. So it was, as long as it's, you take it lighthearted, there were some moments, literally, I didn't have subtitles on. I wish I had, because I was like, wait, what did you say? <laughs> That's what it felt like to me, <laughs> but it's the dialect. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I enjoyed it. It was lighthearted, lighthearted little romp. Uh, so somehow it was like the teacher from uh, Charlie Brown, right? <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, Dave Dreher. Uh, let's hear it, bud. Your first impression? Get duped? Uh, yeah. Didn't count. Didn't like it. <laughs> uh, it, it just, uh, again, I think it's a, a, bit, a, a little bit of a, a victim of my age. Uh, the, the whole hip-hop thing was just like completely lost. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't know what they were doing. I didn't care what they were doing. I, you know, it just, um, yeah, there was just nothing. There was not enough horror to, to keep my interest. Mm. There wasn't enough comedy <clears throat> in my estimate to, to make it a comedy. Cause, uh, but I'm sure just some of the humor was beyond me. I just, I didn't get it. <laughs> It wasn't meant for me. Uh, so I, in a way, I kind of feel bad reviewing this because I, I don't think I was the target audience for this film. Uh, so, uh, you know, I kind of tuned out kind of early, uh, perked up a little bit when uh, Eddie Izzard showed up, but that was very short lived. Oh, yeah, well, um, short -lived. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's uh, uh, all you 60 year old men. Who like horror films? Go watch something else. Yeah. This, 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 this ain't much. Yeah. But, oh. but if you're 67, you might find it funny. Oh my God! There you go. There you go. Or, I, I think it's definitely. It's, it's, it's definitely lowbrow humor. Humor. Or right? a it's, hippie. I think if you're kind of a hippie, you'll enjoy it. Oh, there. That might have been. Uh, maybe that's, a little bit. And they, they were very. Yeah. They were very hard to under. They were mm -hmm. very very hard to understand. Uh, I didn't even bother turning on the subtitles because I, quite frankly, I didn't care what they were saying. So, uh, so, uh, but, oh, boy. Yeah, but you know, so that 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 kind of takes you out of it as, as Damn well. Delinquents. Though. They might have, they might have, they might have done better to maybe release it with the subtitles already on it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Um, oh, uh, but there were a couple. Space. There were a couple kind of funny. I, I like I like the running fork gag as well. I thought that was yeah. kind of funny. The, the the sharp fork isn't there there's a scene like towards the end of it yeah, where he actually used it the guy goes yeah, yeah. Goes, oh, that's, well, an that's, sharp, that's an awfully <laughs> sharp fork <laughs> and I, 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 I giggled at that i thought that was kind of funny uh, uh so but uh those moments are few and far between yeah i i think you hit the nail on the head the i think the comedy is is lost on us yanks a little bit i think it's uh it might be uh it may not translate across the pond as well as they want, um, but some of it is just outrageously funny. I, there are some visual gags in here with the music. <laughs> um, I just loved. Uh, at one point, this film wins me over. Uh, the first half of it, I was kind of like, oh, that's not funny. Uh. <laughs> um, and I wasn't really getting into it. Uh, but it, it started growing on me and, and the characters started growing on me. And so I started getting into, okay, I, I'm starting to get it now. And uh, there's a moment when um, uh, I think it's Duncan gets, <laughs> gets into the van that, okay, I'm on board. That that was awesome. Let's do that. <laughs> do some more of that. Like, uh, that was funny. And then it gets really, uh, it starts getting better and better after that. So, um, and then by the, and I love the, 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 uh, the country guy, the old country guy. Who is he? Yeah, he was um, Cosmo. Well, Cosmo, yeah, yeah. Uh, James Cosmo is the farmer, and and you'll, uh, you, most people will recognize him, I think. Yeah, I was thinking, I you know, I've seen him, but I couldn't tell you who he was. What do I know him from? But anyway, it doesn't matter. He's greatness, and oh man, Game of Thrones. Yeah, you didn't realize yeah. that. Oh my God, he's the, the Lady of the Veil. It was uh, Robin's mother. 
she's yeah. a she's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, well she's a sergeant. A, she's a sergeant. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I'm talking about um, Cosmo though. He's yeah, yeah. Oh. He's, he's in it too. Um, who did he play? <laughs> or is he? Is he Game of Thrones? I don't know. I'm calling on a, a tangent now. No, it's Dark Materials. He's on Dark Materials. She's on Game of Thrones. Yes. I'm looking at the wrong one. Um, uh, but he is. Uh, oh my God! I when it gets to the you know just take one and what happens and you know they, you know they're all cheery. Oh, it's a farmer's guys just won me over. It was it was fantastic. Um, and I was kind of on board with that. And then then I realized that Eddie Izzard was in it. I was like, damn, you've been in this movie the whole time, you 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 goober. You, yeah. you slid one in on me. Yeah. I didn't know it was you until I knew it was you. And um, oh my god, that was hilarious. I, the the Duke and the Duchess are 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 kind of funny. I, I actually yeah. enjoyed them quite a bit. Uh so yeah, this movie is a mixed bag. It's it's it doesn't hit on every note as much as I would, but if if you are a fan. And, and I'm speaking to you guys out there. Listen to me now. If you're a fan of the young ones, <laughs> and if you are, you know what I'm talking about. These three jokers over here, they don't, and they're missing out. They are missing <laughs> out. But if you know who the young ones are, you'll get these four guys. They are very much the young ones, a new version of the young ones, and um, made me miss that show by the end of the movie. Uh, but the uh, yeah, my first impression was. Didn't like it. Kind of liked it. Oh my god, I love it. Now I don't know what to say about it <laughs> because I'm all over the place <clears throat> and I'm a little confused. But yes, the musical parts could were were actually really really good. I enjoyed the musical parts. I didn't have a problem with any part of this movie. I mean, I kind of liked the whole thing. I mean, did it start off a li little slow? Eh, no, not really, because if you listen, the jokes are kind of funny. It's a little dry British humor at points, yes. which I love. I'm, you know, so for me, it was just, it's just campy. I mean, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend it necessarily to horror fans because it's not going to give it's them not, enough horror. Yeah. No, it's not no, really that, horror. Maybe. No, no it, yeah. It's, it's a, yeah, I mean, it, only in the setup, right? In the setup that there are these, these, <laughs> These people out in the this Duke and yeah, this Duke yeah, and got kind of a weird, most dangerous Shane. game set up. Sort know, of, yeah, yeah of, sort like, of. Right, and then there's yeah, yeah, and there's that, but they're playing it straight up for laughs. It is they're not going for the horror, although they do have some gore gags, Dave. And I'm hoping you enjoyed at least that, like our the teacher guy. Oh my God, he, he get he takes it. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 and. Uh, <laughs> no, that, how is that not funny to you? How they're like debating about whether they're gonna murk him, and then the <sighs> dude just goes and runs. So I, I that that's the moment right, that I, I so funny. No, that, that's 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 a moment that they, it caught my attention. And like, the okay. one guy's like, "Well, yeah, I guess his story did seem kind of weird that he set his like leg hair on fire." I mean, it's so dull. It's funny. That was funny to me. Okay, so so it's just for certain people, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah. I and, and obviously, if you're DJ Cornstalk, as Jeff has renamed himself, yeah, it's, it's for, <laughs> you, for you. For you. Um, <laughs> I do need to hear more from you, though, DJ Cornstalk. Uh, why did you? Well, how did this connect to you, and didn't connect to Dave? I have no idea. Except Dave and I have weird blind spots in our in our horror aficionados. Yes, yes. And they're different and they're different blind spots. So he won't he doesn't like artsy fartsy or and apparently stuff like this and I'm not you know if something's I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> well Jeff's a hippie too. It, well uh, ex, hippie, yeah. ex wannabe hippie maybe but uh, <laughs> I told Jeff you are totally a hippie you, at heart. Totally hippie, I yeah. see it. Yeah. yeah you are so but I just I just laugh my ass off at this how stupid these guys were and sometimes you know <laughs> stupid humor isn't funny to everybody you know mm -hmm. some people just look yeah. at i remember watching jerry lewis when i was a kid and laughing my ass off and my dad hated him <laughs> you know, and I, and I see now why he hated him you know but at the time i thought it was pretty funny and these i don't know why i just i was laughing like crazy the place where it got me was when um the duke starts shooting at him I think is where it really kind of picked up for me and they take off running and they come up with this 
really stupid scheme. And then they, <laughs> I don't know. And I didn't even catch, you know, when the, when the guy, when Dean runs down to save their hash, right? <laughs> and he, he ends up picking up some of that mushroom lace rabbit shit instead. I didn't get it when I watched it the first time because he does he does one of those little pulses and then later on when he's looking around like the, the background is like the fields are red and stuff like that and mm-hmm. he gets all fucked. I didn't catch that the first time. Um, it, it's like one of those hindsight things when you find out what's in that. But uh, anyway, I don't know. I love James Cosmo and then his whole, <laughs> why do you think they call it the Highlands? And- <laughs> <laughs> The whole, the whole see, dried soup thing. I laughed my see, ass See, off. three of us are laughing. Three of us are laughing, and one person. They've said they're gone. When are we going to be done with? This? <laughs> so now you know the scheme of things here. Like um, I think, I think, I think the jokes. Yeah, I really dug the jokes too. I was like, I thought, oh god, it's so dumb, but it's funny because I was like. Really, people. When she yeah. was l- naming all the breads in the truck, she's like, and she just kept going on. I was like, it, it was just getting funnier. I was like, oh my god, like, who, like, how does how do they care so much about the bread? Yeah, and when she was going well, around the, yeah. and and That's giving them, yeah, she was going over to the crew and talking about each one about what they did and. Oh, yeah. were, oh my god! Was, you should yeah. really look into law. You would make a great law enforcement. Yeah. Yes. Oh god. And his response was even better. I, I so I yeah I, I liked her quite a bit. I I want to see more mm-hmm. of her. Yeah. Uh, but her. I I also thought that the um, Samuel Bottomley. I I really liked his character. He's the he's the one Hamish. that. Yeah, he's the one that is the outsider to the group. <laughs> and uh, oh, oh no. yeah. Okay. yeah, he yeah. was sweet. He yeah. made me sad. And I, I liked how, you know, they, they kind of took, you know, how they all kind of grew together. Came together. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. At the end. Oh, yeah. Like silly sat. We're outsiders, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, well, that was one of, well, that's one of the better moments, actually, is when he has that little speech about, what are you well, talking there was a, about? There was a bunch of those comeback around jokes, too. You know, there was the, uh, you know, you left me behind. Well, we had to leave you behind so we could save you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's another one of those where we had to kill you in order to. Save you know, bring you to back bring to you back life, to life. You know? Yes, oh my gosh. Um, and what you were talking about with her, with uh, the instructor, I just I, I was gonna fall out of the chair when uh, the, the <laughs> cop looks at him and goes, You, I think, should go to the hospital. He kind of goes, yeah. whoa, whoa, this, I know. A tooth and a big glob of blood comes out. I mean, the two, the, the sergeant and the and the deputy dude or whatever or in the car and she stops she's like we really need to keep our eyes peeled and then behind them is the <laughs> gang van so if you like that kind of silly roman atkinson mr bean sort of humor there's quite a bit of that in here young ones young whatever the young ones is apparently <laughs> young ones <laughs> um, davis so quiet there, there's a a, a group of get stupid people out there that know what I want. I uh, know what I'm talking about. All right, let, uh, let's wrap this up. Let's give our final thoughts, our score, and our favorite scene. Our uh, score is one to five. And uh, this is the fun part. Stick around for this. But before we do, there's something I'm going to ask of you, and that is subscribe. Uh, if you like this and you're enjoying it, please subscribe below. Hit the like button or dislike button. Uh, also, hit the little bell so you get notified when we do some more of this. And we do a lot, so you want to be notified. You Come back and uh, watch some more. Even better, yes. Uh, yeah, please, please do that. And leave some comments because we'd love to hear what you think. Uh, if, you, uh, if you love the young ones like I do, I want you to write something down below. Support me in my love for the young ones. <laughs> Let's take a moment to remember. All right, that was fun. Thank you. There was a, there still is a cricket, by the way. Yeah, oh, it's in Jeff, Jeff's cricket. It's still I here. wish it had gone there. Uh, I'm sure Jeff. it's here. We needed that cricket at that moment um, because that, yeah. did not, yep. that did not play as well as I wanted it to. <laughs> yeah, right, it was, I was gonna, I was gonna move, and uh, then he quit, or she. I don't know. She? Oh, she? Yeah. <laughs> You're, you're I couldn't so find inclusive. it. You're so inclusive, Jeff. All right, Jeff, you're up first, sir. Uh, what is your final thoughts? Your score, favorite scene. I I like this. I thought it was funny. It's not a horror movie. Um, 
but you know, just, that's good. You, you, you usually don't like to say that. Yeah. Uh, there's no way. I mean, there, there's some stuff, but it, uh, I don't know. It, it It's yeah. lowbrow humor. It's stupid funny. And uh, if you, if you don't like that kind of stuff, then don't, don't waste your time. I'm giving this a three and a half. Oh. And uh, I am gonna pick I was gonna pick some easy ones, but I'm I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick the uh, dehydrated soup scenes. <laughs> 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 and Duncan, Duncan. <clears throat> Hey, oh, my another, God, was... another, another great Duncan plan. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't well, know what. Use your saliva. Use your saliva. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. And, and, it, and it carries on through for quite a while, right? Because. Yep. And then anyway. it plays out differently. Yes. When they find it. Yep. They don't realize it's dried. So anyway. Yes. Yes. Right on. Right on, brother. All right. Crystal Cleveland, you're up next. <laughs> What's your final thoughts? Your scoring favorite scene? Far out. No, oh, it's totally far out. <laughs> okay, so I like this movie. It's not a horror too. I wouldn't recommend it to horror fans, but I mean, I think it's fun, and I think if you like that sort of dry humor, like Jeff said, watch it. I'm going to give it a three. And did you say dry <sighs> humor or fried humor? Dry. Okay. Oh, fried humor could work too. I don't know. I don't know what you like. Oh. Kind of both feels. <laughs> Sounds like I'm like on the rabbit feet. Uh, anyway, so, there's a so, there's a there's a quote for the week. I'm on the rabbit poop. I think I'm on the rabbit poop. <laughs> um, so I, uh, my favorite scene is it's got to be when he goes into the barn and you see the DJ Beat Root fan club. I just think it's a riot. I I'm just dead. I'm I was like they're like wait. Is that DJ Beetroot? And they all love him. I just so funny. <laughs> I didn't think I couldn't. I was like, oh, he's got a little fan club. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. Some random farmers, fans, oh, farmer got, fans. Yeah, I got all about it. Did you give us a score? Did I miss it? Three. A three. 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 Awesome. That's a three. Mm -hmm. All right. Awesome. I didn't know. <clears throat> um, all right. Uh, you, um, I like your embarrassed bunny. All See, right. poor bunny. All right, Dave Dreher, you are up, sir. Uh, this should be fun. Give us your final thoughts, your score, and favorite scene. Well, like I said, I, I actually feel kind of uh, like I shouldn't be reviewing this because obviously I didn't get it. Sitting here listening to you guys sing his praises, and I still don't get it. Sorry, I just <laughs> don't get it. We need that. Uh, we need I that. Did, I didn't see any of what you guys seen. If you want to see, here's the truth. If you want to see a good British comedy, watch a Monty Python movie. Oh, well, yeah. If you, if you want to see a good stoner comedy, watch a Cheech and Chong movie. And if no, you want to see a good horror movie, watch anything other than this piece of shit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm sure this has an audience out there. Uh, but uh, it, it, it wasn't in this household when I sat down and watched this last night. So I'm going to give it, I, I really disliked it. If I gave it an honest score based on what I felt, it'd be like, do that. It'd be like a 0.5, okay. but I'm going oh. to give I'm going to give it a two because it was wow. well made. They got it made. You know the 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 people seem to act and to listen to you guys talk. Apparently, they did do a good job. It just wasn't for me. So, mm -hmm. and uh, favorite scene would probably have to be, and only because it's the only thing I laughed at or had any type of a reaction to was the uh, was the the. Uh, the the fork and pocket knife fight, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Which, which which I did actually like like giggle out loud at the damn thing, and we went that's an awfully sharp fork. <laughs> you know, so that was uh, that, you know it, uh, I did find that humorous, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, don't go into this thinking it's anything other than what it is, which is really kind of I think you're right, Jeff. It's kind of a, a British Three Stooges. Um, yeah, or, I can't believe we didn't win you over, Dave, with our uh, version of a Chris Farley review there. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, it's 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 not the three stooges, it's the young ones. I'm gonna say uh, yeah. Oh my god, if I hear this again. Well, I see, swear. here's the problem, Doc. If this is like the young ones, I don't want to fucking uh, see Dave, the young ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, you, you probably don't. Um all right, so uh, this movie was um I was totally a Dave at the beginning of this movie. And uh, about the time Duncan does his 
uh, driving school. <laughs> to the teacher. I, I was starting to be starting to get a little bit better, and then uh, by the time it uh, it became a musical, a funny musical, I was I was totally on board. I um, I love the last half of this movie. First half, I don't like the half. First half of this movie, love the last half. Uh, the last half won me over though. Um, so I'm going to give it a three on a little better side yeah. uh, because of that. And um, I actually. You t I had two favorite scenes and neither, and you didn't take either one. Um, oh yay! The obvious one, which I'm surprised you guys didn't take, was you know, <laughs> I often say I'm going to park a bus on your head. <laughs> this movie parks a bus on people's head, <laughs> and yeah, I love it. Yeah. That was great, and it was I totally knew it was coming. And, well, actually, I didn't know it was coming in the way it came, but I knew yeah. the, the you know the bus was coming, um, and how they did it was was incredibly uh hilarious and splendid and i can't believe dave that you didn't laugh at that uh but if it's not that scene because i'm going to state two <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, our our crew have bonded together and they're ready to go after the duke and the duchess and take care of everything and they they've already taken their mushroom rabbit poop Thing, and they've taken a lot, and they've taken a lot, and they're hiding behind the rocks, and they've got them in their sights, and everything starts kicking in, and um, the visual effects, they're, I mean, they're not extraordinary effects, but they are so funny, boop, 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 their heads, and you know, it's just, um, and they, uh, I, I can't describe it because it's indescribable, but it's hilarious, and I, oh my god, that scene, and when all the you know, farmers' heads are doing the same thing earlier. I just, oh, I love it. I love that. I could watch that over and over and over again. It was just, you know, just so funny and trippy, literally trippy, because that's what they're trying to do here. And I'm all about that. That was hilarious. Um, yeah. Uh, British Cheech and Chong right there and then. I'll, I'll, I'll say mm -hmm. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, or <laughs> the young ones. Oh, all right. Boy. So there but you Dave's go. Not, <laughs> Dave's not here. Dave's not here. Dave's not with us. Yeah. Dave wish he wasn't there. <laughs> All right. So uh, that's our review of Get Duked. Uh, it's playing on Amazon Prime right now. So check it out and let us know what you think. Please let us know what you think right down below. And all you Young Ones fans, you've got to step up and support me here. I'm all by myself and I, I, I'm I, feeling lonely here. All right. Um, thank you for listening. I, I hope you enjoyed our review. Dave, DJ Cornstalk. And Crystal, thank you for the <laughs> fun discussion, and I'm so glad uh, you joined me tonight to do it. I am too. It was fun. It's always fun. Always fun. Yeah, Even yeah. when the movie sucks, it's still fun. Is yes. it? Is it? You know, I can, <laughs> Dave, I can always tell when you're not liking a film because I get these yeah. wonderful, wonderful texts from you. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and, they're, and, they're, and they're so subtle, but they're not. <laughs> It's usually like I fucking hate you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why do you do this to me? Sometimes there's that. Sometimes there's a, well, I got through that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, let's say good night. Good night. Good night. Gruesome magazine.